Hi everyone and welcome to this drawing of a kingfisher and I will be doing this with color pencils and furthermore I'm using toned gray Strathmore drawing paper and that will make the whites stand out but for the setup I will be using the black color pencil and what I wanted to draw is uh, the kingfisher that has just emerged from the water and he has caught a fish now this fish is uh, hanging from his beak so I first want to uh, capture this and um, I will zoom in here for you because the head of the fish uh, is uh, popping in front of us and the beak I will have to draw around that fish uh, so the beak is open and here downwards uh, goes the rest of the body of our tiny unfortunate fish I use uh, some simple lines for the setup and here I'm also drawing in the tail which is dangling down here I'm deciding where the head is going to be the outer line and uh, what I did is uh, I've checked Google images and uh, just simply uh, type in Kingfisher and you well you get like a million uh, different kinds of uh, images there so uh, there's a lot of footage for you there and uh, study material once I have saw one in the in the wild that was when I was in Turkey and I was amazed by the colors of this bird so I'm trying to capture this here I'm drawing in uh, the blackness of the eye but as you can see I already spare out a little bit for the highlights in that eye and the kingfisher has a lot of different kinds of feathers uh, for instance on the head themselves they are really packed together and there are really tiny little feathers but there are also somewhat longer feathers and different kinds of colors what we will be drawing in later on but for now the main importance is to get a the direction of the feathers in order so I'm sketching up all with that black color pencil the main lines that I will need to color in as the drawing continues on the left side you can see just the tip of the wing and here on the right side you can uh, really look up on that wing and for the feathers on the breast they are much longer so uh, I will be using longer strokes but here first I want to get some blackness for the beak and I'm stretching it a little bit further And as I was saying on the top of the head there are all kinds of tiny little feathers so what I do is I color in the little shadows that are just in beneath those feathers Thank you. 
I also do that on the top of the wing and here are the what, well, kind of longer stretched lines that I use to uh, give a direction for the feathers on the breast on the fish itself I draw in some scales and here the cue and well that fish is really in trouble of course and once you have your setup as good as it is it's time to get your white color pencil and that white I use for all the light parts and the highlights that are on the fish and on uh, the beak here itself I simply go over the black for the inside of the beak I need a little bit more black here and then I go in between the, the black spots that I've drawn in and I simply put in some white also the highlight on the eye itself of course and I continue with the highlights on the feathers themselves tip of the wings are quite white and now it's time for the first color I'm using a azure blue light blue color and I simply um, well color in all the gray that is left so I'm putting it in between the black spots that I've drawn and what I also use is a second color of blue this is a mid-tone blue and that is to get the difference and uh, to get some kind of shine on those feathers so use two kinds of blue Here is the lighter blue and it gives it a bit more 3D effect and uh, a little bit of a shiny effect. What is also in our Kingfisher is uh, yellow ochre and I combine this with a middle brown. can also use it a little bit on the fish the fish itself I do not want to uh, make bright colored I will uh, keep the colors as dull as possible because I want all the attention to go to the kingfisher of course here I'm putting in the shine on the breast feathers and I simply uh, place over this the yellow ochre for the inside of the wings and the shadows between the feathers I use the black color pencil again For the fish itself, I've chosen green that will not be found in the rest of the bird, so I simply use that for the fish. What is also a very nice detail is to draw in some dripping water just use your white color pencil and make strokes that go downwards 
and that will make it look like that fish has just been dug out of the water then I sharpen my black color pencil make it really really sharp and then I start putting in all the little detail that I need to get some extra shine and here also uh, on the beak itself get in really really dark so that fish really li uh, looks like he's popping out between the beak and draw in those little detail on top of the hat So I try to make as much as difference between the kinds of feathers that are uh, in this bird. The longer ones, the short ones, to get that nice detail. I really love drawing this kingfisher and uh, I'm happy to add that to my big collection of animals here on the YouTube hope you will give it a big like and a big thumbs up share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe I will see you again in my next tutorial